You're listening to The Voluntary Life, where you can hear ideas for finding freedom in an unfree world. Visit thevoluntarylife.com to connect with the show and hear all past episodes. Live. We're here live from the 2012 Porcupine Freedom Festival. You can bring up what you want. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's the SACL CAI toll-free line, 1-855-450-3733. Join us on our website. Head over to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you there. Once again, that's freetalklive.com. So drop into amp.freetalklive.com, check out the details on the program, and please get signed up. Three bucks a month, price of a cup of coffee, hamburger. I mean, this is not uh, a whole lot of money, but for us, it makes a huge difference in being able to get this show on more radio stations and uh, and help people find the ideas of freedom because it's so important. Uh, that's why there are so many great radio hosts, uh, so many people that are putting together podcasts and, and doing online radio to try to reach out to as many folks as possible because this message is important, and I think our next guest... Uh, uh, agrees with that. It's Jake, who is the host of, and what's your last name, Jake? I, I don't, I'm not Decilis. intimately familiar with it. Decilis. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're from actually the UK. Yeah. And you are the host of the, uh, the Voluntary Life. That's right. Yes. The Voluntary Life. It's a podcast. And how long has uh, the Voluntary Life been being produced? Uh, a year and a half now. That's pretty good. What, yeah. what inspired it? Well, I've been interested in, um, in really ways of finding freedom in in your own life. I guess Harry Brown's book, you know, How I Found Freedom in an Unfree World. Is yeah, a, is great a, book. A, yeah, a real inspiration, I think. And, and his, Seminal work. And his approach, you know, to, to really focusing on what you can do in your own life to bring more freedom to yourself um, is something that I, I'm really uh, uh, inspired by. My background was uh, as an entrepreneur. I, I set up a business and, and uh, ran it for a while and and sold it, and uh, and I was really interested in, in you know ways in which entrepreneurship can be something that you can use to bring more freedom to your life, and to to um, you know experience uh, being able to do what you want to do, and along with that, I I wanted to do a podcast talking to other people who had other ways of um, finding freedom in their lives. So, for example, I've done a lot of interviews with uh, families who are unschooling to uh, hear more about about that and as an opportunity to have more freedom within uh, you know within your family when you're raising kids and uh, other other people I've talked to about things like investment and financial freedom so that's the idea is really to to look at all ways in which you can get more freedom in your own life how many liberty oriented uh, shows are there in the UK I mean what who else is out there oh they're really uh, you know it's nothing like the US um, I, I look every now and again to see to see what's what's out there and there are a few uh, much more sort of um, I guess party politically oriented uh, vaguely libertarian leaning shows but it's just nothing like um, in the USA so there's really not a lot going on uh, in the UK um, there are a few um, free market institutes and and some uh, and there is a like a libertarian organization um, i 'm not really that involved in in that but um, but it 's very very different compared to uh, what 's happening over here do you think that i mean have you ever assessed your downloads and because I know that we can look usually at our downloads by country and see you know who 's been downloading and uh, was it russia that 's fairly yeah, yeah that's amazing uh, are you People seeing, learning English through free talk live are you seeing more downloads coming from the u s yes than, uh, than yeah, the UK? that's right the u s is um, actually the main source of downloads, and the u k is second and then I also have you know strange things from Russia and Thailand <laughs> What's and places going on over there I guess there's, there may be a lot of expats as well who Could speak be. English who, who live out there. Um, but I did want to say, by the way, yes, that um, back in uh, 2005, when I was an entrepreneur and was becoming more and more interested uh, in uh, liberty, I was listening to Free Talk Live. And it was actually Free Talk Live that uh, I listened to, um, Ian, you read an article out about how the military doesn't really protect you. Mm. I, I can't remember who wrote that article, but that was, for me, that was the, the moment that sort of knocked me over from minicism into into voluntary oh, right because minarchists sort of traditionally believe that uh, the state must protect that the you know the state's military it's a good thing because it's keeping us safe exactly. but in reality they uh, really focus on keeping the government safe yeah yeah that's right and if you're a minarchist that's your last sort of line of well okay i can see how the government messes up um 
all of these other industries that it goes into and nationalizes. Mm -hmm. But you need defense. You have to have a court system and, and, and defense. So that's your last Cops, sort of... courts, yeah, roads, that's soldiers. The, that's the last thing that you think, well, okay, that's the kind of necessary evil. Mm -hmm. And that article just really clicked something for me. So I wanted to say thank you very oh, much. That was very, very helpful. Now, um, y y your podcast is about living a voluntary life. What is the single biggest thing that the average person can do to add more freedom to their, their lives? What if you have distilled over a year and a half at this point? Well, I mean, I think that really depends on where you're at, what you're doing. So, for example, we don't have kids yet. Uh, I know that um, that if, if the unschooling... You know things, how to make that happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The unschooling thing would be something that I would be, I, I'm really interested in learning more about for that stage of life. But I guess my background and what I talk about, um, the thing that I really focus on is how entrepreneurship um, is something that you can use to bring more freedom to your life. I think so many people go through a process of... You know, going through um, compulsory education and getting into a wage job and feeling like they're yeah. really stuck in that. The rat race, as yeah. it's called. Yeah. Right. When you have your own job, it's interesting. When you have your, your own business, you serve more people and make more money. When you work for someone else, it's hard to make more money. How do you how do you do that? Uh, you know, well, like, can I get more hours? So you're, you're asking somebody for more hours and maybe they can provide it, maybe they can't. You can go out and get another job. Like it just you're, at that point you're trading time for money and it's, you know, it just doesn't I, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a different setup. Yeah, and I think, you know, what what really what I find really exciting about entrepreneurship is that it's a really revolutionary thing to do as well. This is a way in which you can use a voluntary exchange to change the world, to make the world a better place. Because even if you're just providing you know, pizza to an area that doesn't have it, or, you're, or if you're providing some kind of super high-tech new, uh, new development, whatever you're doing, if you create something that people are willing to pay for, then you'll bring value to the world that didn't exist, and you're changing the world and making the world a better place. And that's a really revolutionary thing to do. And that's, you know, in my view, that's where all the progress that we have comes from. That's where it, you know, all of the great things that we get to enjoy now in terms of you know, the fact that we live longer and that we're able to, to enjoy the comforts of the kind of lifestyles that we live now, they come from the work that entrepreneurs have done in the past. So for me, that's a kind of activism. You know? It's an activism of actually bringing voluntary exchange to the world and generating value that wasn't there before. Yeah, I think that's definitely true that being, being an entrepreneur and hopefully becoming a successful entrepreneur is the best way to uh, secure more freedom for yourself because you set your own schedule. I mean, that's a huge deal for, for, for me. I don't have to, I don't have a boss telling me where I have to be and when I have to be there. And if I have to be somewhere, it's because I have committed to, uh, to that on my own without anybody telling me uh, what to do. And having that freedom uh, to be able to make those choices is a real benefit to entrepreneurship. Yeah, and it gives you the opportunity to live with the consequences of your decisions to actually have the freedom to you know, decide, I'm really going to go for it and, tr and try and make something mm -hmm. that hasn't existed before. As you say, that brings you freedom because you have the opportunity to work for yourself and to, you know, to, um, to make money if that, you know, and to try and get more financial freedom for yourself. But you also bring freedom to other people because everything that you're doing is voluntary. So if, they, if they're willing to pay for it, then they're getting value um, uh, on a voluntary basis. So that's like volunteerism in action. How does, uh, you know, because this could be a big cliff to jump off for many people. You know, they've worked their whole lives trading hours for dollars. And how does one take that step? I mean, what, what, what are your recommend, recommendations in that area? Well, I think uh, we were, I was talking about this uh, yesterday with Brett because um, we were talking about sort of uh, his School Sucks podcast and the whole compulsory education thing. And one thing that I was talking about yesterday was, I mean, I think the sooner you can, you can start, the better. Because entrepreneurship is one of those things that's harder to do the more financial responsibility and the more financial obligations you have. So if you already have a family and if you already have debt and you already have a mortgage and all these other things, it becomes harder and harder to start. So the earlier that you can start, the better. And if you do have a lot of expenses, then you know, if you can bring yourself down, to, if you can bring those down so that you have less uh, ex and less expensive lifestyle, then you have more freedom to, to get started. There are Good other things that we can talk about that too, but that's one of the main What's ones. your website? TheVoluntaryLife.com. TheVoluntaryLife.com, and that's where you can go for Voluntary. more... 
voluntary. <laughs> for more of Jake? Yes. Jake. Thanks for stopping in, Jake. Appreciate uh, you being here, and uh, welcome to Pork Fest. First Thank time, you. right? Yes. Porcupine Freedom Festival 2012 edition. We continue broadcasting live here in moments. We'll take your calls about what you want at 855-450-FREE. Thank you for listening to The Voluntary Life. If you have feedback about the show, please email jake at thevoluntarylife.com. If you enjoyed this program, please share the podcast with your friends or click the donate button on thevoluntarylife.com.